We ain't got no money, honey, but we got rain. Call it the greenhouse effect or whatever, but it just doesn't rain like it used to. I particularly remember the rains of the Depression era. There wasn't any money, but there was plenty of rain. It wouldn't rain just for a night or a day. It would rain for seven days and seven nights. And in Los Angeles, the storm drains weren't built to carry off that much water. And the rain came down thick and mean and steady. And you heard it banging against the roofs and into the ground. The waterfalls of it came down from the roofs. And there was hail, big rocks of ice, bombing, exploding, smashing into things. And the rain just wouldn't stop. And all the roofs leaked, dish pans, cooking pans were placed all about. They dripped badly, had to be emptied again and again. The rain came up over the street curbings, across the lawns, climbed the steps and entered the houses. There were mops and bathroom towels, and the rain often came up through the toilets, bubbling, brown, crazy, whirling, and the old car stood in the streets, cars that had problems starting on a sunny day, and the jobless men stood looking out the windows at the old machines dying like living things out there. The jobless men, failures in a failing time, were imprisoned in their houses with their wives and children and their pets. The pets refused to go out and left their waste in strange places. The jobless men went mad, confined with their once beautiful wives. There were terrible arguments as notice of foreclosure fell into the mailbox. Rain and hail, cans of beans, bread without butter, fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, peanut butter sandwiches, and an invisible chicken in every pot. My father, never a good man at best, beat my mother when it rained as I threw myself between them the legs, the knees, the screams, until they separated. I'll kill you, I screamed at him. You hit her again and I'll kill you. Get that son of a bitch and kid out of here. No, Henry, you stay with your mother. All the households were under siege, but I believe that ours held more terror than the average. And at night, as we attempted to sleep, the rain still came down. And it was in bed in the dark, watching the moon against the scarred window so bravely holding out most of the rain. I thought of Noah and the ark. And I thought, it has come again. We all thought that. And then at once it would stop. And it always seemed to stop around 5 or 6 a.m. Peaceful then, but not an exact silence because things continued to drip, drip, drip. And there was no smog then, and by 8 a.m. there was a blazing yellow sunlight. Van Gogh yellow, crazy, blinding. And then the roof drains, relieved of the rush of water, began to expand in the warmth. Pang, pang, pang. And everybody got up and looked outside, and there were all the lawns still soaked, greener than green will ever be. And there were the birds on the lawn, chirping like mad. They hadn't eaten decently for seven days and seven nights, and they were weary of berries. And they waited as the worms rose to the top, half-drowned worms. The birds plucked them up and gobbled them down. There were blackbirds and sparrows. The blackbirds tried to drive the sparrows off, but the sparrows, maddened with hunger, smaller and quicker, 
got their due. The men stood on their porches smoking cigarettes, now knowing they'd have to go out there to look for a job that probably wasn't there, to start that car that probably wouldn't start. And the once beautiful wives stood in their bathrooms, combing their hair, applying makeup, trying to put the world back together again, trying to forget that awful sadness that gripped them, wondering what they would fix for breakfast. And on the radio, we were told that school was now open. And soon there I was on the way to school, massive puddles in the street, and the sun like a new world. My parents back in that house, I arrived at my classroom on time. Mrs. Sorensen greeted us with, we won't have our usual recess. The grounds are too wet. Ah, oh, most of the boys went. But we're going to do something special at recess, she went on, and it will be fun. Well, we all wondered what that would be. And the two-hour wait seemed a long time as Mrs. Sorensen went about teaching her lessons. I looked at the little girls. They all looked so pretty and clean and alert. They sat still and straight and their hair was beautiful in the California sunshine. Then the recess bell rang, and we all waited for the fun. Then Mrs. Sorensen told us, now what we're going to do is we're going to tell each other what we did during the rainstorm. We'll begin in the front row and go right around. Now, Michael, you're first. Well, we all began to tell our stories. Michael began, and it went on and on. And soon we realized that we were all lying. Not exactly lying, but mostly lying. And some of the boys began to snicker, and some of the girls began to give them dirty looks. And Mrs. Sorensen said, All right, I demand a modicum of silence here. I am interested in what you did during the rainstorm, even if you're not. So we had to tell our stories, and they were stories. One girl said when the rainbow first came, she saw God's face at the end of it. Only she did say, which end? One boy said he stuck his fishing pole out the window and caught a little fish and fed it to his cat. Almost everybody told a lie. The truth was just too awful and embarrassing to tell. Then the bell rang and recess was over. Thank you, said Mrs. Sorensen. That was very nice. And tomorrow the grounds will be dry and we will put them to use again. Most of the boys cheered and the little girl sat very straight and still, looking so pretty and clean and alert, their hair beautiful, in a sunshine the world might never see again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Girl. That's a wonderful. Oh, aren't you glad you read that? One? Okay, well, just to, Was it for my friend. To go back there? Yeah, I got it all did back you get, again. Did you get did back you? in there? I felt it. Yeah. Did you remember? Yeah. You read it like you felt it. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. That's all. That's all. That's all. I quit. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, he picked out some good ones. Oh, didn't he? brother, I'm so glad that he yeah. did. It's marvelous choices. I still like George best. Huh? I like George. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Nasty shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Bye.
Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome. You're I'm welcome. Your <laughs> All right. You picked some. You picked a couple good ones. I got to admit. You turned me on. Well, they're wonderful. Come on. Yes. I mean, you know. I didn't realize, but you know, I guess it looked too long to me. That's. Yeah, it's yeah. formidable. Yeah, but uh, once I got the taste of what it was, I got lucky. It doesn't rain like that anymore. It's a it's drought, a, right? It's a wonderful story. It's a wonderful yeah. poem. Yeah. Why yeah. do it rain so hard then? Nobody knows. The, the, it, 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 felt, it feels like a biblical poem almost. It yeah, has that yeah. kind of... Noah was there. Yeah, we thought it was... Sometimes we thought it would never stop. Yeah. Right. After it goes for seven days and seven nights, you just think... It's never going to stop. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a time. The roof. Nobody had a good roof. They couldn't afford it. Yeah. Well, you have that wonderful story or poem where everyone lies about what their father does. Oh, that one, yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. And finally one kid said... The truth. Yeah. And then you envied him. You went, why oh, didn't I tell yeah. the truth? God, I think mind. you said your dad was a dentist or something like that. Right? Oh, I said something awful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all these, all these kids, their fathers were employed during the Depression. Oh, but they were lawyers and, you know, doctors. Right. Circus clowns. All glamorous, great things. <laughs> the teacher must have realized. Right. The pain. How hard. These kids. How hard. They're a shame. My father used to get in his car and pretend he was driving to work every morning. That was awful. I have a job. Should go out there all day. I don't know what I did. The other fathers had just sat on their porches and all of it. Mm -hmm. This is the most similar time I can think of as far as unemployment goes. Lack of hope. Yeah. Uh, with Clinton now, there's a little spark. Mm -hmm. But things are so totally fucked. It's, he's mm -hmm. really got to be a magician to uh, do anything. So we're going to show, we're going to show Absolutely. a couple. Oh, great. Let's not keep this man here all night. <laughs>